Welcome back to the Scottabye channel and this is Scott. So a couple of tutorials ago, I created a presentation entitled, What are VLANs and how to use them? And it was a little bit broad because it covered how to provide additional VLAN adapters in operating systems. And although I covered INCUS, which is a common subject on the channel, I didn't really get down to specifically how you can create a container on a particular VLAN. So I thought I would focus on that today. So let's begin on my UDM Pro and your router or gateway may be different, but I'm using a Ubiquiti UDM Pro and I'm gonna click New Virtual Network and I'll go ahead and type in My Cloud as the name of my VLAN I'm going to create. And then down here in the host address, I'm going to go ahead and make that host address 192.168.100.1. The .1 address is the gateway address, which says how to get out to the rest of the VLANs on the network and also how to get out to the internet. And the DHCP scope, that is the range in which DHCP addresses are offered, are 192.168.100.6 to 100.254. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click manual and change the VLAN ID to 100. A best practice is to always make the third octet whenever possible the same as your VLAN number because this helps self-document your network. Now that we have the MyCloud VLAN 100 created out here, it's also important to point out that whenever you have your Incus server, Normally you have your Incus server out on your main LAN or on some other network that you've predefined. But the idea is that individual containers would be offered on specific VLANs. And that's what this video is about. Now that I've created my VLAN 100, I'm gonna go ahead and head down to a terminal on one of my Incus servers. And the first thing I'm going to do is an Incus profile list. And if you watched Incus Container step-by-step, step, you know that I have a profile named Bridge Profile. So I'm gonna do a Incus Profile Edit Bridge Profile. And just as a reminder, the Bridge Profile is very simple. And all that it does is it takes the device ETH0 inside of an Incus Container, and it goes ahead and bridges that to a device called Bridge Zero, which is a virtual bridge we created in Incus Container step-by-step step, out to the main LAN. And what that does is it gives your container an address on your main LAN if it uses the bridge profile. Frequently in my tutorials, as I show you how to present a container out onto your main LAN, I do an Incus launch images colon and in whatever operating system in this case ubuntu forward slash 2404 the version number and i say the name of the container in this case test and i use the default profile and the bridge profile so something else that might be interesting to do here would be to do an incus profile edit on default and the default profile is a little bit different because what it does by default is it goes ahead and uses an internal address using Incus BR0, which is a natted bridge that's created when you do an Incus admin init. And so this one gives your containers addresses on your internal network rather than on your LAN. But the important part of the default profile and the reason why we provide it along with the bridge profile is because it defines the disk device or where your root file system resides inside of a container. In this particular case, the path being forward slash means root and it is a type of disk and it is found in the default pool. Having created this container, if we do an Incus list, we'll see that it has an address of 172.16.1.145, .1 
which happens to be an address on my main LAN in virtue of the fact that I use the bridge profile. So what if instead I wanted my container to be out on our new VLAN 100? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do an Incas profile create my cloud, which creates a new profile of the name my cloud. And again, my cloud's kind of an arbitrary name. You should come up with names that attempt to self-document which network you're connecting to and what that network is used for. Then I can do an Incas profile edit. And once again, this is pretty much a blank profile that doesn't really have anything significant inside of it at all. So what if I want to go ahead and set that up? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste in these values here. And what they say is they say ETH0 device inside of the network is going to use the Mac VLAN NIC type. It's going to bridge it through the same bridge zero device and it's going to use VLAN 100. So just like other things with the nano editor, I go ahead and do a control O and enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. How can I tell from the command line which profiles a container is using? Well, I'll do an Incas config show test and I'll pipe that to grep profiles a5 and that says that right now the test container is using the default profile and the bridge profile. Let's go ahead and remove the bridge profile from the test container with an Incas profile remove test bridge profile which removes the bridge profile from the test container and now Let's go ahead and do an Incas profile add test my cloud, which places the my cloud profile on the test container. And now if I do an Incas config show test where I grep profiles, you'll see that default and my cloud are the assigned profiles on that container. At this point, if I do an Incas list, we can see that the test container no longer has a 172.16 address, but it has a 192.168.100.13 address. And the way that it got that address was through the DHCP server offered from my VLAN on my gateway router device, in my case, my UDM Pro. Here I've signed on to my VMS Rain Incas server, which is one of my production Incas servers, and I can do an Incas profile list. So one of the nice things about this is that you can see that I have different profiles and you can tell how many containers are used by each. So in this particular example, the bridge profile is used on 11 containers and the VLAN 80 profile is used on 17 containers and the IOT profile is used on two containers. So by using profiles to determine which VLAN a container is on is also a good way to document where things are being created. Back on my original Incas server where we did the demonstration, if I do an Incas list, we have test running and it happens to be using that new profile. So if I do an Incas profile list here, we can see that my cloud is being used by one container and that is the one container. So you can delete a profile by doing an Incas profile delete my cloud but this will come up with an error. And the reason it will come up with an error is because that profile is currently in use. So anything that is using a profile has to be not using the profile or deleted before you can fix that. So we'll do an Incas stop on test. And then that's not enough because the container still exists and is using that profile but I can do an Incas delete on test 
And now I can do the Incas profile list again, and you can see that my cloud is being used by zero devices. And so now if I go up here and say Incas profile delete my cloud, it is able to delete that profile. Incas profiles are very powerful things and you can use them for a lot of different purposes, but this is one specific purpose where you can use them to provide your containers on the various VLANs that you have on your network. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.